Devon, would you agree that we are in a destroyed state as a people, not as one individual, as a nation? Our people are destroyed, right? Give me that Hosea 4 6. I'm explaining to you why. All right? The so called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans, we are under the same curses. And the reason we are under these curses because we broke God's laws, statutes, and commandments. Watch this. I'm going to bring, bring that up. Hosea 4 6. So we have to come back to God's laws to get right with God, to be back in rulership where we was originally. I'm going to show you something. Watch this. Book of Hosea, chapter 4 and verse 6. Watch this. My peoples are destroyed for lack of knowledge. You see what it says? It says, the Bible says, my people, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. Read it again. My people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. So we don't want to get it confused. When the Bible says, my people, he's talking about the Israelites. Right. I'm going to prove that in the Bible. Hold back. We're coming right back to that. Give me 2 Samuel 17. I'm going to prove to you in the word of God. Because the first five books of the Bible, you know what the law is written to Moses to give to the Israelites. Did you know that history? The first five books, Leviticus, the, the, the first five books were given to the Israelites, the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. So this is going to prove when the scripture says, my people, watch this. This is the book of 2 Samuel, chapter 7, verse 10. Verse 10. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people Israel. So I'll so say that again. Read again. Moreover, I will appoint a place for my people for Israel. For my people Israel. Israel is the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans you see on the sign right here. Okay? So keep that in mind. Now go back to Hosea 4, 6. Because the, the whole thought is, the Bible says, my people are destroyed mentally for a lack of knowledge. And I'm going to give you what knowledge is also. Read that. 4, 6. Start from the top. Verse 6, my people are destroyed for lack of knowledge. So he says, my people are destroyed for a lack of knowledge. When the Bible speaks about knowledge, what do you think that's going into, Devon? Step up a little bit, my brother, I'll hear you. When the Bible speaks about my people being destroyed for a lack of knowledge, what do you think that's going into? When it says, a, a lack of knowledge. That's going into not knowing the Bible and following God's laws. Right. Give me that knowledge. Give me that knowledge. I'm already on. All right. So the Bible is going to explain to you what knowledge is. Because I want you to understand this. I'm going somewhere with this. It's very important that you pay attention. Read. This is the book of Malachi, chapter 2 and verse 7. For the priest's lips should keep knowledge. Uh -huh. And they should seek the law. The what? His, the law. The law. The law. At his mouth. At his mouth. They should seek the laws of God at his mouth. One of the laws of God is, is that mankind should not lay with other mankind. That's right. Womankind should not lay with other womankind. It, it says that in the Bible. Right. So why do our people embrace this act of sin? Why do our people embrace this act of sin? Now, I'm going to go to the Bible, divine, because I don't want you to think these are my words. This is the Bible speaking. You get more on that? Yes. Read it and finish it up. The law at his mouth, for he is the messenger of the Lord of hosts. You see that? He is the messenger. So you're receiving this message for a reason, Devon. Now go to Revelation 18.4. See, our people are accustomed. We're we cleaving to these customs in this captivity we're in right now. And we're thinking it's okay. It's not okay, my brother, because we found out in the Bible, it said, you heard it yourself, it says, my people are destroyed for a lack of keeping God's laws. And one of the laws is that we don't lay down, men doesn't lay with men, and women don't lay with women. Watch this. And watch what the scripture says. This is the book of Revelation, chapter 18 and verse 4. Watch this. And I heard another voice uh -huh. from heaven saying, come out of her. So this is John the Revelator saying he heard another voice from heaven saying, come out of her. When he says come out of her, it's talking about America. So he said come out of America's ways. America's ways. Meaning, our women wearing blonde hair. Our women laying with other women. Our men laying with other men. Right. We eating pork. Right. Not celebrating the Sabbath on the true day of the day of rest, That's which is right. Saturday. You understand what I'm saying? These are things you don't know because you wasn't learned that in the church. But you're learning it today. Pay attention. Read it again. Come out of her. Come out of America. Come out of her ways. Read. My people. My people. Now remember earlier, we went to my people, right? It's talking about Israel, right? 
the so-called blacks, Hispanics, and Native Americans. That's right. So the Bible is speaking to you right now, Devon. Read. That ye be not partakers of her sins. You see that? That you be not partakers of her sins. What is that sin? That sin can be AIDS. That sin can be all kind of vile affection. That sin can be uh, uh, all these uh, diseases we get as a people. Gout, diabetes, because we don't eat pork, right? Uh, it can be alcohol, which is which is uh, filled in our neighborhoods. How you doing, sis? Hey, y'all got y'all got five minutes. So you, you see what I'm saying? So he says, "What? Read that again." That you that ye be not partakers of her sin. That's talking about gonorrhea, syphilis, all those things, or even getting killed. It says, "Be not partakers of America's sin." Read. And that you receive not of her plague. You see that? Receive not of her plague. You understand that? So we must come out of this. We, you must come out of her. You must change your ways. Give me that Leviticus uh, 20 verse 13. Now I'm going to show what the Bible says about mankind laying with other mankind. Give me, you, are you understanding divine? Do you have any questions so far? Alright, let me get the scripture. Hey, listen to this. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 13. This is the book. This is the Bible speaking. Now a lot of times we don't know what's in the Bible because we don't read the Bible. Because when we go to church, what they do? They sing, dance, and they give a performance. And at the end of the day, you say, oh, boy, that was church. Church was good. But what did you actually learn? What did you actually walk away with? Because even you, you've been to church, right? Uh, you have to admit, you've seen sin in the church, haven't you? See there? It don't make any sense. You see, 20, you see 20 churches on one block. It doesn't make any sense. It's confusing. If a man also lie with mankind, as he lies with a woman, both of them have committed an abomination. They shall surely be put to death. Their blood shall be upon them. Read that again. Read it real slow. Verse 13. If a man also lies with mankind. You see that? The Bible says if a man also lies with mankind, another man laying with another man. Read. As he lies with a woman. As he lies with a woman because man was not made for man. A woman was made for a man. Bring it out. That's the natural order. Not men with men or women with women. Right. Where do we get that idea from? From our enemies, right. our captives. Right. Coming out of Egypt, even going back to our forefathers and foremothers. A lot of those bad, sinful ways is, has transcended even today. Right. Read it again. If a man also lie with mankind uh -huh. as he lie with a woman. With a woman. Read. Both of them. What? Both of them. Both of them Both have of them. committed the man and the woman read have committed an abomination. We used to scream black power while Heron was pushed. But at the end of the day, nothing's in vain. IUIC has been given a vision. The tents of Judah has risen. Many has attempted the mission. Minor murmuring, omitting, and missing the mark. Just reading that he had the flame of fire in his eyes gave us the spark. We on Paul's mission. We out on the road, purple and gold. From Mexico, Cuba, Haiti, Ghana, Sierra Leone. 144,000 boots banging, concrete crackling. These are how our men repented at heart. The scriptures is proof. IUIC, we deliver the truth.